why go through the trouble to infiltrate flat earthers if they're totally nuts? I tried debunking this flat earth movement and discovered there was two of them. One of them is led by shills. COINTELPRO is always a major red flag. What if I suggested that this model being presented to you here is more believable and true to Occam's razor than a furiously spinning, mostly water-covered globe hurled through the vacuum of infinite space, supported by indecipherable Jesuit-mandated dogma and Nazi propaganda? In this model, Polar North and South are present. The equator is quite intact. Sunrise, moon phases, and time zones are accounted for. The curious stationary star rotation around Polaris-centered North throughout the year and history is explained. The curiously homogenous nature of humanity's disparate tribes' flat terrain histories, myths, and religions finally makes sense without any coincidence theory. The airline's lack of Southern Hemisphere direct flights and the odd triangulation of international and Southern long-distance flights without GPS tracking is explained. The lack of curvature seen in the horizon at any elevation and altitude now makes sense. And it gets better. The reason for NASA faking spacewalks, moon missions, and other crap all becomes clear. And keep in mind, Effects like climate change or rising sea levels are still quite possible. You could hold on to that paradigm if you want and still consider this one as well. This is real science, the heart of which is skepticism. And keep in mind, we don't have answers for everything. Neither the general public nor subscribers to the real Flat Earth model know what's beyond our celestial sealand sky or what it's made of, and we can't seem to go deeper down than eight miles. Let's look at some uh, exposed COINTELPRO agents that are disrupting and creating chaos within this movement. So you've got the Holocaust denial Hitler love train smear campaign, and then you've got fake truthers on the other side, straw manning the argument. So Jeff C., if we're all crazy, why do you block me and then cherry pick actors and idiots to bash? So, yeah, I've got nothing to do with the Hitler love. Shills have infiltrated this movement. In fact, they're leading it. So I mosey on over to the NASA SoundCloud page. It takes me less than two seconds to find the triple six. Took me a little longer to find it deeper in the Jesuit mandated Newtonian unfinished theories. NASA puts it right out there. Red tongue of the serpent. Yeah, their, uh, their mission's quite clear and that's creating spectacle in theater. You are the bewildered herd, and your eyes are glazed over as you mouth breathe in front of the hallucination box. And even if you think you woke up only to follow shills like Free Radio Revolution, you need to pay serious attention. If you folks do a little digging, you'll see that Jeff C., Free Radio Revolution, is an exposed shill. Take a look at his most popular videos. Bullshit. Complete bullshit. I guess that's how he gets, gets the fans. So anyway, I went viral earlier this year, had over half a million views by June, and then uh, saw my page kind of get shut down for a while. Jeff's doing just fine, though, it seems. Interestingly enough, when I expose Jeff and explain his bullshit right on his page, as you can see here, someone went up to my comment. So I'm going to go check this out. Um, 
the flat earth completely debunked page here. So here is some evidence. We got Jeff C. He's got a fake comment section. Take a look at this. Flat earthers need to take a long walk off a short flat earth, says this character here. Show the two replies. I replied to him. Got some action on it. Now it won't show it. Police State Radio. I got some action on my comment here. Now it's gone. It says view all seven replies. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's scroll back up here after I count these. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take a look at that. View all seven replies. What's going on here, Jeff C? What's going on, Free Radio Revolution? Why do you have, yet again, fake numbers on your page? You've already been caught lying about your identity, shilling, gatekeeping. View all nine replies. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven comments here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is not hard, folks. View all nine replies. There's not nine replies here. There's seven. See what they're doing? Really, really obvious. When you take a look at which truthers have shitloads of videos up. These people get paid to put videos up full time. It's their full time job to fucking shill and gatekeep. Where's the reply? Hmm. It's not there. So uh, you got people commenting, and then they think their comment is viewable. You think you're a part of the conversation. But this conversation is being monitored, and this conversation is being micromanaged. 39 replies. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Hmm. So there you have it, folks. You seeing the trend? I could do this all day. Let's look into this guy. Who the hell is Jeff C? Goes by Scatman Crothers as well over on Skype. Hmm. So I'm going to look into the names Free Radio and Scatman. They bring me back to this Facebook page. No profile picture and only one friend. The one friend is Jeff. His name's Derek. Derek Frizzell. He and his BFF hairdresser. So Derek Friesel Frizzell Frizzell did an interview with Cut to the Truth. He said he was from Kirkland, Quebec. So we we search Free Radio Revolution. We get Derek here. Hillary Knight goes nude. That looks like a man with a woman's face. On. Oh look, a solar powered Oh, look, Derek's Game of Thrones name is The Ghost. That's uh, something to do with the giant ice walls? What a lie. Woo! <laughs> Story of your life. This guy almost makes it too easy. Journey, don't stop believing. Oh no, mom fell down. Oh, okay. Things are starting to fall into place now. I'm getting, getting a bigger, 
big picture look at uh, Mr. Jeff, Mr. Derek, Mr. Trevor. That might also be his name. We'll get into that later. The army taught him how to survive. So he might be.